So we're going to talk about Desmartin pyridine oxidation, so DMP oxidations, DMP peroxida or oxidations, DMP. We'll talk about the structure of that in a second. But the big overview idea is that with Desmartin pyridine, you can take a primary alcohol and turn it into an aldehyde. We've learned before, you can take a primary alcohol, and if it reacts with chromium or the KMnO4, it doesn't stay at an aldehyde. It actually turns into what? A carboxylic acid. Right? It turns into a carboxylic acid. So it would be useful to be able to stop at the aldehyde stage. We already knew one thing did that. We learned was PCC. Peridium di is a, another catalyst. I wasn't asking you to know the mechanism for that. Then we learned a new one called DMP that I do want you to know the mechanism for. So let's take a look at that mechanism. All right, so here you have DMP. This is Desmartin per iodine. It's the iodine. And we're going to, we know, right, if you just look at this, you should know what the product is, product is going to be, at least the first one. You're going to make an aldehyde. You're going to make an aldehyde. So what that means overall, right, what happens to this alcohol? What's the, what's happening to this alcohol? It's getting oxidized. So an ox that's, a, that's just another way of saying it's losing electrons, right? It's, the carbon here is bonded more to oxygen more times. So if something loses electrons, what does that mean? Something else has to gain electrons, right? Just like you can't, just like balancing charge, you can't just lose electrons. So remember, you've learned about redox reactions, but maybe not in the context of organic chemistry, right? Redox reactions, all, all they are is reducing somebody gets electrons, oxidation, somebody loses them. So in this case, the alcohol is getting oxidized. That means this DMP reagent must be reduced. And if you had to look at it, where do you think it's going to be reduced at? iodine, right? Why iodine? Because it's on the far right hand side of the periodic table, it's electronegative, right? And it has all these bonds to oxygen. It's going to have to lose some of those bonds to oxygen, right? So this carbon gets oxidized, the iodine gets reduced. So it's good to like kind of think about that before you start the mechanism. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen, with the iodine with all those bonds to oxygen, that actually makes the iodine pretty delta plus. So the oxygen actually attacks the iodine and kicks out one of the OACs, the O-acetals. So what does that make? Let's see if I can get some, get some room here. So OAC, we might make sure we know what that is. So this is OAC. This part right here is the AC part. So that's the AC part. And the O minus. So that's OAC. We now have, let's see, there's still two on there. And now our alcohol is on there. And don't forget the H is still on here too. And there should be a balance our charge. Where should there be, where should there be a plus charge? And oxygen. Very good. So right now we can neutralize this charge. We have an OAC minus. It can just take that H off. OH, which is this. These two things are the same. So you can draw it two different ways. OAC is also this, acetic acid. Very good. Now what do we need to do? So now we need, maybe maybe you're stuck. You're like, oh, what do I do now? You got to remember, what, the, what was the whole point of this? What were we trying to do? Make an aldehyde. So what do we need to do to make an aldehyde? If we look back at our first star material, we lost one H on the oxygen. Okay, that, that works. What else do we need to do? We need to take another H off, right? So we need to take an H off of here.
we're actually gonna make another OAC. So this is maybe kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna take these electrons, which that O iodide bond are gonna go, grab that H. These two electrons here are gonna form that pi bond. And then these two electrons are gonna go to the iodide. So the products are drawn here. So let's kind of look at them. I try, I try, I try to draw them kind of suggestively so you can kind of see where they went, right? So if you take a look here, the aldehyde, right? So this carbon right there is that carbon right there. You see that one of the H's is gone. There's the methyl right there. This right became another OAC. This oxygen is right there. The hydrogen that's on that oxygen is the one that was on the alcohol, carbon attached to the alcohol. That made the other OAC. So this is the product. This is one of the products. All right, so the iodine no longer has as many bonds to oxygen, so that makes sense, it got reduced. <laughs> and you also make two acetic acid molecules, plus two HOC. You had one here, and then another one here, plus this iodine species. That's the desmar and and the nice thing is it stops at the aldehyde. It won't keep reacting. Unlike chromium and KMnO4, it'll stop at the aldehyde. So you can take a primary alcohol and make it an aldehyde.